Hiya. Hello. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> um, we are here for a special edition of YouTube Longs with Clay and Brianna. <laughs> they have shorts. <laughs> we bring you the longs. Yes, we do. Very much so. Mm -hmm. um, so we went to the game shop the other day. Yeah. Um, because uh, I had realized that I was getting a little behind on the Marvel Champs. Yeah. And hadn't bought the newest campaign box, hadn't bought... The last um, few characters. The last few characters. Um, and we noticed that uh, Deadpool and X-23 were on the new release shelf at yeah. the game shop. And I'm not sure that they were actually released that day. That was last week? Yeah. Yeah. That was last week. Saturday. Right, that's like... A little bit off. We've been a little playing, bit off. We've been playing pretty hard with the map. Yep. <laughs> um, but what we thought we'd do is uh, maybe open these up and take a look at them. I haven't really looked at a lot of these cards. I um, have no idea really what's going on with them. Um, kind of excited to delve into them. Um, yeah. I know that Deadpool has their own uh, pool uh, aspect. It's a pretty thick... It's a very Euro thick, pack. comparatively, especially. Like, if you look yeah. compared. Yeah. It's like uh, twice the size, yeah. almost. <laughs> so, this is a 78 card hero pack, it says on the back. Uh, where is it? 60. So, yep. exaggerated a little bit. So, 18 <laughs> extra, which is, you know. Yeah. It's busted with so, three cards, for sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do first? Uh, should we start with Deadpool? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to go through. I already peeled the stickers off of these to make it so that people didn't have to sit through. But you got your normal. Ooh. There's actually two. Normally there's only one insert. So let's look at the colorful one first. Uh, have Deadpool on a rocket with some tacos and a katana. Nice. Oh, it's a it's a spot the differences. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. For instance, there's there. two birds there, and there's three birds on the other side. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, ta a, taco difference. A that's burrito. Yeah, there's like a that's like a beef taco on this side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's a that's a burrito on the other side. Yeah. So. Um. The bullseye on the top of the. He's, yep, he's got a he's got a beer. Doesn't have a beer. And then this is different. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Your very own uh, extra content provides you hours of fun. Yeah. Hours and hours. Oh, um, how many are there? <laughs> Gotta figure out how many there are. I normally save the um, the oh, inserts. That's Tabasco sauce. It's hot sauce. Oh, that's hot sauce? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. This does have a bit more. It's got an explanation of the pool aspect. It's got, of course, the Deadpool standard redacted, like Deadpool inserting his own dialogue. Yeah, dialogue into things, you know. So, yeah. It's got the FAQ. Yeah. Nice. So, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Go. So I, I have to ad admit something. Hmm. When I've been having problems with um, with opening things, I've been using the sword from the pop up pirate game <laughs> <laughs> as like a fingernail because <laughs> nice. I don't really have fingernails. <laughs> it's brilliant, but it's it's kind of like the perfect um, like little yeah. tool. And um, it goes to Pop Up Pirate. So, Pop Up Pirate. Which, if you haven't played, even if you're just a group of adults, like, seriously, play Pop Up Pirate. It's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Especially if you have one that's a little bit jumpy. Mm -hmm. So, we got Deadpool to start out with. Um, Deadpool has 200 thwart, 200 attack, and 100 defense. And it says to ignore these zeros. So, 2, 2, 1. Uh, the regenerate and degenerate. When you would be defeated, instead set your hero your hit point dial to one, change to alter ego form, and add one acceleration token to the main scheme. Has nine hit points and five hand size, standard. 
Interesting. And then Wade Wilson has eight recovery. Holy crap. Um, has is a mercenary and a mutant. Um, break the fourth wall, action, discard a card from your hand, search your deck for a Deadpool event, and add it to your hand. Limit once per round. Nice. So can recover and find a Deadpool card, and doesn't ever die? Can really only lose to scheming. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I like I like that it has like these little zeros and then it has like an asterisk by it and then it says ignore these zeros. <laughs> Cable's a signature ally. Of course. Gotta love some cable. Alright. Yeah, he gets uh plus one thwart and one attack for each acceleration token on the main scheme. So that's why it would be even remotely interesting to put acceleration tokens on the main scheme because it would help cable in his fight mm -hmm. so that's kind of awesome but you can only do it to a max of three seems like quite the gamble <laughs> seems like quite the gamble mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so for his signature set um, we've got exhausting personality which is pretty okay. Um, acceleration token to stun and confuse or exhaust an identity and that player draws a card for each acceleration token on the main scheme. Um, Deadpool seems to really play into this acceleration token um, thing to just kind of... A lot of these are reminding me a lot of like Star Wars, I, Star, Star Lord's Lord, cards I was just that are that. leaning... Star Lord really leans into having more um, encounter cards, and then gain, it increases its attack mm -hmm. capabilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like maximum effort, take any amount of damage up to your remaining hit points, deal equal amount of damage to an enemy. Um, mm -hmm. When an encounter card is revealed, cancel all of its effects and discard it. Take one damage for each boost and uh, ex uh, yeah. Each of the icons in that card's boost area. Um, take any amount of damage and remove that an equal amount of threat from a scheme. Um, generate up to three wilds, one for each acceleration token. After an identity makes a basic recovery, exhaust the truck and ready that identity. That's pretty cool. You just exhaust it, and then it comes back? Mm-hmm. Huh. Search your collection for one weapon upgrade from any aspect and attach it face down here. There you go. So you, you just, that's breaking the fourth wall, what Deadpool's all about. Exhaust Deadpool's katana and take a damage, deal two damage to an enemy. This attack gains piercing. They're both upgrades, so... What's restricted on that mean? Um, I believe it's, I believe can only have one. Okay. Increase the target threat value of attack scheme by two for each acceleration token on it. That's cool. So, just building up those extra turns. Oh, this card is fire is pretty interesting. After your turn ends, if this card is in your hand, take one damage. Because this card is fire. Oh. And hero action attack deal X damage to an enemy. X is the amount of damage you have sustained. Hmm. So, signature cards. I'm feeling like they're pretty on brand. Yeah. With what Deadpool is about so far so um leaning into that humor aspect mm -hmm. looking looking at some kind of fun stuff i do like some of the colorful text on them mm -hmm. pretty funny yeah i feel like the artwork on them's good it's pretty solid deadpool type stuff yeah now let's get into the pool aspect the pool the pool 
So um, we'll go with uh, Frenemies, Cable and Deadpool. This is the team up card. Um, everybody comes with a team up card now. So yeah. Um, Cable and Deadpool have to be in play. Obviously, it always goes with their signature ally. Or you can be playing Cable, who came in the um, next... What's the name of the campaign box we just got? The X-Force campaign box. Um, so, do you want... It's one... not Mutant Genesis, right? That was the last one. That was the last one. Okay. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. We just got it. Next something. <laughs> Same time we got these yep. packs. <laughs> Hero Action Thwart, deal one damage each to Cable and Deadpool, remove three threat from a scheme and three threat from a different scheme. That's pretty cool. Remove six threat for one. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, got a Dreadpool set here. Um, okay. I'll set the Dreadpool set aside. We'll go with uh, Deadpool's Obligation. Exhaust each ally. Allies you control cannot ready. Other players cannot resolve player card abilities during your turn. After the player phase ends, if you have not talked this phase, discard this card. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's that's pretty funny. Another fourth wall break on that one. Mm-hmm. And then the Deadpool Nemesis is Butler. Not surprising. It's the one who experimented mm. on Deadpool. Okay, now Deadpool has an entire pool, an entire aspect. So we're going to start with the ones they put in Deadpool's base deck, and then we will go into um, the rest of the stuff. I would imagine most of this stuff is going to be pretty off the wall. So we're starting out with Dogpool. Has Retaliate, 1, and Toughness. When defeated, deal 1 damage to an enemy. 0 thwart, 1 attack. No consequential damage. Interesting. So how does that work? I mean, just a tank for you, but it has an acceleration token. Yeah. Deal one damage to an enemy when defeated. Then you've got head pool, which is a zombie. How can you defeat it if it doesn't have any... Oh, because it still has hit points. Because it still yeah. has hit points. Yeah. I'm with you. Yep. <laughs> Headpool, two thwart, one attack. Nice. After headpool attacks and damages a minion, that minion attacks another enemy of your choice. Nice. Didn't we have a Laufey with like six attack or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, was, imagine that. Yeah. Gives everything an extra boost icon. Oh, man. Kidpool, another acceleration token. Kidpool's attacks that piercing, two attack. I'm seeing a theme here. I don't know if y'all are seeing that. <laughs> Everything costs. Lady Deadpool. Oh my gosh. Uh, when defeated, defeat a non-elite minion. Two thwart, two attack. Gives everything an acceleration. Three, barely a scratch. Uh, when you would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent one of that damage for each... Crisis, Acceleration, Boost, or Extra Card in play. Okay. It's quite the shield if you have some allies out. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Cut Upper, not to be confused with Uppercut, <laughs> which is a three-cost... Um, ability that deals five damage to an enemy. Mm -hmm. This is a hero action attack that deals five damage to an enemy and costs three and stun that enemy. Nice. Da bomb, six cost event. 
which is the highest event cost we've seen. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Max one per deck. Deal 10 damage to the villain. Deal one damage to each enemy and hero. And hero. And hero. For each crisis, acceleration, boost, and uh, um, the extra draw card. Encounter card. Ouch. Icon. That could In be play. real bad. <laughs> yep. Dub bomb. Dub bomb. Get ragey. Not to be confused with get ready. Zero cost. <laughs> um, action ready and ally. Um, that's what get ready is. Um, and that ally gets plus one attack until the end of the phase. Max one per deck. Nice. So we're seeing some reinvention of the classic. Mm -hmm. um, what some people would consider staples. I don't know if I'd consider them staples. Yeah, I don't They're know. They're just kind of mag cards that have been crept out of people's decks. Isn't the get ready in the um, leadership aspect? Is that what the get ready one is? Mm -hmm. in? Yeah. So. I'm going to let you take this one because you'll enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> this one says, not my responsibility. And then it's crossed out. They crossed out hero and just so it's just an interrupt. When any amount of threat would be placed on a scheme, you or your ally takes it as <coughs> damage instead. Okay. It's <laughs> kind of awesome. That that could yeah, yeah. That could definitely come in handy at some points for sure. Mm -hmm. I got this. Hero action if the following archons are on one or more cards in play. Crisis, deal three damage. Uh, acceleration, remove two threat. Uh, boost, uh, ready an ally. And then extra encounter card, draw a card. There's three of those. <laughs> uh, pool inspection. <laughs> um, max one per deck. It's a thwart uh, action. Remove five threat from the main scheme, ignoring the crisis icon. Remove one threat from each scheme or for each crisis, acceleration, boost, or extra encounter card in play. And it's a six cost event. These are expensive. Yeah. But they have quite a, quite a kickback on them. So. Yeah. So. It's not the bomb. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the house is like on fire yeah, and he's like, cleaning the, the pool. The colorful text on it says, this pool is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Deadpool has a side scheme. Um, if you haven't opened some of the new X-Force hero packs, we didn't see any in the X-Men, right? Just the X-Force. Yeah. We've seen these, these player side schemes, which are really interesting because... They come into play as a side scheme, mm -hmm. so you would thwart off of them just like everything else. Yeah. Um, they sometimes cost, and the threat has to be removed for an effect. Mm -hmm. And everyone I've seen has a victory, so it goes into the victory display. Even if it's victory zero, remember that it goes into the victory display and cannot be redrawn or, redrawn or pulled out again. So mm -hmm. um, they have pretty powerful effects for what they are. This one is live dangerously, zero cost player side scheme, victory zero, each identity gets plus two hand size. That'd be nice. Has every icon on it. Oh, jeez. And six, well, three per player threat. We always play two players, so I'm just going to automatically calculate it for two player. Mm -hmm. So that that effect only takes place while the scheme is out, right? Because it, it's right. not a one defeated. It's just mm -hmm. so you have to deal with all those icons to get an extra two cards in your hand. Yep. <laughs> this is definitely giving off Star Lord vibes. This is gonna get us in trouble. Uh huh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so these I think are gonna be like the double resource cards: self confidence, self control, and self preservation. So we got. Um, double the number of resources this card generates if your identity has sustained less than five damage. Um, triple the resources if you have sustained no damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, they all have that as a requirement. So, it's a I'll single resource, and if you haven't taken as much damage, then it doubles, and then 
no damage. So they're all five or zero? Yeah, five or zero, and if you've taken zero, it triples the resource. Okay. So Mm -hmm. the chances of you playing pool inspection or dub bomb is easier. Are a lot easier. Yeah, that's good, because I was hoping for something like that, because that'd be real hard to play. Because I was thinking you'd have to have Live Dangerously out because you that's the only way you're going to have seven cards. Yeah. But with those, that's pretty good. Yeah. Then we have Get Good, which is definitely a fourth wall card. Reduce the cost to play Get Good by two if you did not win your previous game of Marvel Champions. <laughs> so for us, this card is fire. This is the best card I think I've ever seen we in the game. We should have had that after we played Ronin a few times. <laughs> <laughs> forced interrupt when a player would be defeated they set their hit point dial to one and changed alter your form instead remove this card from the game that is an, a very apt mm-hmm. um card right there i love it i, <laughs> I love like, it i like how it's spelled get good <laughs> all and right then we got three we got three healing factors I like the mangy, like, rabid-looking dog on there. <laughs> um, dog pool. Dog pool, yeah. Uh, after a player phase um, begins, exhaust healing factor and heal two damage from your identity. So, that's nice. And it's an upgrade, so that's nice. You get to, like, heal up. So. Are they unique? Yeah. So, only one at a time, right? Uh, max one per player, yeah. Okay. So. You can toss them out. Mm-hmm. And then, just like these three, we've got another one here. Tenacity, or stick to as <laughs> Deadpool says. I like it. Two-cost upgrade, hero action, spend a strength resource, and exhaust this card. Ready your hero. Okay. I love the flavor text on this. Acquiesce? I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's his um, starter deck. Yeah. Definitely do some damage. Yeah, it... And take some damage. <laughs> I I think we'll see after looking through the, the rest of the pool, the Deadpool pool, the pool pool. The pool pool. Um, <laughs> this feels kind of leadership-y. A little bit, yeah. And I don't know how that... I just, I don't know. I mean, it definitely goes on with the X-Force theme. Like, Mm -hmm. so, it's kind of, yeah. But. I really figured there'd be a lot more thwarting stuff in here. You did? Like, yeah. Oh. To keep the scheme from going Nova while you just smack down the villain. Yeah. But you were thinking smack down the villain in a hurry before the scheme gets out. Yeah, of control. I feel like that's more Deadpool's way from from my experience with Deadpool, which is very limited to like the the videos, the movies. But the Ryan Reynolds, the Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds Deadpool. Um, that's yeah. not inaccurate. <laughs> I feel like he just like he may think about things, but for the most part, he's just gonna go in and murderate everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's. Okay, let's see what else we got, though. Because okay. there might be something in here that we're like, oh my gosh. That needs to go in there. Yep. So. Okay. So we're going to start off with Bob, Agent of Hydra. I like <laughs> Agent of Hydra. Bob Dabalina. Dabalina. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> you, sir, <laughs> are a mouthful. <laughs> so after Bob, Agent of Hydra enters play, deal two damage to an enemy or remove one threat from a scheme. Okay. It's nice. Just got like basically a retaliation of sorts. Mm-hmm. Or uh, what is it called? Quick strike. Quick strike. That's what it is. But he also has an acceleration on his card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we've got Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Oh boy. Um, two okay. attack, two thwart. Thought he was a mouthful. <laughs> Four hit points. Oh, it's uh, that character. Okay. When a treachery is revealed, deal two damage to Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Cancel that treachery's when revealed effects. And gives you an extra card. Okay. Um, my thoughts currently are... Uh, 
the first turn you drop a four cost could be the only time it ever activates. Yeah. But could be good for canceling some stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Panda pool. <laughs> I don't think art work on this one. Uh, toughness. What's black and white and red all over? <laughs> so, definitely got a powerful punch. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Then we've got break time. Three per player cost. It's an event. It's an alliance. Max one per deck. It's an alter ego action. Hmm. Take a group break. Leave the table. Read a comic book. <laughs> when you come back to the game... <laughs> Heal one damage from each identity for every minute you were away from the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so much fun. That's really awesome. <laughs> oh man. Three per player. What is the per player? Is that something we can share? No. Nope. Okay, so it has to be you paying yep. for it. Bob has appeared on another card. Get in front of me. <laughs> yep, very Deadpool. Just pushing the guy in front. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effects. The villain attacks you instead. If an ally or another hero defends this attack, you get a draw a card, though. <laughs> that's, definitely that's... definitely going to be shoving people in front. <laughs> That is so, that is so, that is perfect. That's, that's an on-brand card right there. Yeah. And we've got Mulligan, three-cost event. You cannot play this card if you have played another card this phase. Oh. So you have to play it first. Discard your hand, draw a new hand. Oh. There's three of them in the pack. Interesting. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that would save you, like, if you had, like, cards. Like, you got all your resources, basically, and you had nothing to play. Yeah. That'd be definitely something to do. Yep. But then you have, you have to discard them all. Yeah. So, I don't like that part of it. <laughs> the other thing I'm noticing here about these is I cannot see another hero playing with this set. No. Like, I understand it's an aspect or whatever, my problem is, like, you you even put, like, Captain Marvel out there and all the allies have that an extra encounter card. It's not going to work. Like, there's there's no way that, that you're going to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Deadpool Core Ship. Exhaust Deadpool Core Ship and deal yourself one face down encounter card. Put a pool ally into play from your hand. Okay. So that would be definitely one way to save you it's, from spending four it, on a it, hero, it, on an ally. It's a Quinjet. Yep. <laughs> the Deadpool face on it. <laughs> Plot convenience. So support, cost two. Action, exhaust, plot convenience. Choose to attach one aspect card from your hand face down here to a max of three. Add or add one card attached face down here to your hand. Here's the kicker. Any player may trigger this ability. Interesting. That's cool. You that can set cool. up some really in interesting combos with that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Is it basically like an archive? Is that what's kind of doing? Yep. Yeah. Except for any player can put a card from their hand there. So like Deadpool's saving up for the bomb, like yeah, like funnel your resources there. Yeah. Or like for you, like if you played Nova with this somehow mixed in, you could put. Your Unleashed Nova dive Forces, bomb. your Dive yeah. Bombs, like, all that stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Well, you can only get one at a time Right, back. but you could stockpile it for mm -hmm. sure. That's, that's intense. 
a lot of planning would have to go into that, but it could yeah. be real fun. I can see some decks. Yeah. Because then you could you could draw up to your hand size without having to hold a space for a card mm -hmm. that you want later. So that's real nice. That could be real nice. Um, ambush. Attached to a side scheme. <clears throat> um, when attached side scheme is defeated, discard a non-elite minion. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Scheming. Thwarting. Scheming demons. And just naturally take out a, a, a minion. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. There's three of those on there. Bazooka. Mm. Two cost upgrade. Max two per deck. Of course Deadpool would have Hero action. Bazooka. <laughs> Discard bazooka. Deal one damage to an enemy for each of any of the icons. Oh. The acceleration, crisis. Um, <laughs> Extra card. <laughs> in play, this attack gains ranged. Nice. I feel like they made Deadpool to kill Ronan. Yes. That would be an interesting game to play Deadpool against Ronan. I feel like they made Deadpool to kill Ronan. Because <laughs> all that garbage. Heard us. <laughs> all that garbage with all those stupid icons on there. And now we have a hero that's just like, I just one shot Ronan. He had 50 hit points. <laughs> and I killed him. <laughs> he, he, he is from Red Dewey. De <laughs> Deadpool is, 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 is the Trump of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> They tried to send their best people. <laughs> they they tried to send Ronan. Ronan was not their best people. <laughs> okay, let's see. Meta game. It's a blackout upgrade. Zero cost upgrade. Uh, spend one resource of any type. Move one threat from the scheme to an empty space above that matches the spent resource. If all spaces are filled, discard this card and confuse the villain. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So you spend two energy, two science, two strength to use that and confuse the villain. <laughs> and also thwart. <laughs> and also thwart. <laughs> I would be confused if that was if I was the villain. <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you confused me. That's for sure. Just got, take one from here, put it here. <laughs> we've got distraction, mm -hmm. which is a zero cost upgrade, attached to a non elite minion. Attached minion cannot activate. Ooh. But as the crisis icon. Interesting. But they're zero cost. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of the upgrades are actually pretty cheap. Honestly, part of me kind of wants to, like, just shuffle the entire thing into the deck. And just like, see what happens. Just make, like, one major Deadpool deck. <laughs> and embrace the chaos. So, if a crisis is on a minion... Would that mean that you have to, like, kill that minion before you could do anything? I don't think so. How would that work? You would... It's just like a side scheme. You'd have to remove the minion before you could thwart off the main scheme. Okay. Interesting. Interesting! Here. We'll see if we can get you guys a little bit better view. We'll try and keep them... We'll try and keep them there. There. That might be better for you guys, right? <laughs> Hope so. Hope so. You're like, you guys are like, you're 35 minutes in, Clay. Why didn't you think of that to start off with? We don't do very many of these. We don't. <laughs> in fact, this is the first one we've ever done. So apologies. <laughs> um, I will lay the cards out uh, uh, that we have not shown um, after we're done. So you could take some stills or whatever of them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we're able to focus or not. <laughs> okay. So next, I think it's your turn. 
Laser swords. <laughs> Counts as two restricted cards. Max one per deck. Um, your hero gets plus one attack for each icon, crisis, acceleration, boost, or extra card in play to a maximum of a plus four attack. Wow. And then it's foom, ksh, foom, ksh, <laughs> from Kid Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's pretty cool. I really, I gotta, I gotta figure out what the restricted is because this is restricted. Okay, to go, card. go, go, see if we can find keywords. Yeah. Find I, keywords, I Rihanna. Find keywords. <laughs> Let's see. We need keywords. Next evolution. That's next the box. evolution. You already knew that because you're probably watching this and you're like, I have Google right here. You guys are morons. <laughs> All right, let's see. Freaking laser swords. Laser swords. Restricted. A player cannot control more than two restricted cards in play at a given time. Okay. So you could only have laser swords, or you could have both katanas, because the katanas were also okay. restricted. Okay, yep. But so you can have, t okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, they must immediately choose and discard from play any restricted cards they control until they only have two. So we're getting into some very complex cards. There's a lot of text on these, so I'm going to try and take it slow mm -hmm. so that everybody can kind of understand. So this one is called Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> it is a one-cost upgrade, has a wild resource in case you use it to, as a resource, and it's a metagame. Hero action. Exhaust this card. Choose one card in your hand and discard the top card of your deck. Using the diagram above, if a printed resource on the chosen card beats or points to a printed resource on the discarded card add the discarded card to your hand so strength beats energy energy beats science science beats strength and wild beats everything so let's see if we can get it to focus yeah there you go so wild's the best obviously yep Okay. And then... <clears throat> There's another metagame. It's Tic-Tac-Toe. Spend one resource of any type. Move one damage from a character to an empty space above matching the spent resource. If there are three damage tokens in a line, deal all damage on this card to an enemy and discard this card. So, you want to play Tic-Tac-Toe badly. Yes. <laughs> Because you could get it to what? Um, you could have it deal five. Right? Is my math right there? Uh, it seems like you can only deal three, right? Well, because you could get four and still not have a row. Right. So any of the four. So four. Oh, I see. But then so when they're completed in a row, yeah, then it deals everything yeah, on the card. Yeah, then, then anything else is going to complete your tic-tac-toe. So you can do four, four and then the fifth is going to trigger, and it's going to do five damage. But it says rows as well, so you could do six, seven damage on that card. Right? If that's the case? If there are three damage tokens in a line. Oh, in a line. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just like so tic tac toe. Five. So you could deal five max with this. We're like NASA engineers or something. <laughs> I can't figure out the, the focus and the zoom on the car, on the camera. Man, I just don't. Maybe thinking about it. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's better. I'm gonna turn off autofocus, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's see if that'll help us. I mean, that's better. At least it won't focus in and out. Yeah, at least so. it won't look, but well, there you okay. go. Yeah. A little blurry, but... So. Okay. And now... For the final one, which is War. What is it good for? It's a one-cost upgrade. <laughs> it's a metagame. Hero action... Um, exhaust war, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take one damage for each icon, the, the boost and the boost. 
um, in the boost area of that card. Discard the top card of your deck. Deal damage to an enemy equal to that card's cost. All right. There are some six cost cards. There are. <laughs> so, you you could potentially, yeah, potentially. There's also I, like the the three per player. So if you're playing with more players, you could deal even more damage. Mm -hmm. I really, really love the art on this card. I really, really love Kid Pool and Juggernaut playing <laughs> war on Kid Pool's bedroom floor. <laughs> That's really awesome. I feel like... I feel like we're seeing the fun in this pack. I yeah. feel like this is I feel like this is a lot of fun. Yeah. It's got a lot of things going on which could make gameplay very interesting and very mm -hmm. entertaining. Yeah. So I feel like you aren't going to get bored. Right. I feel like you might not enjoy yourself, but it's not going to be boring. You you may not be able to fight f fairly. Fairly. <laughs> Or like past certain some levels just because you're building their, like their. Except scheming. for Ronan, this thing might destroy Ronan. It might because everything in Ronan has like an icon on it. Yeah, like everything has an icon. That's uh -huh. the worst part about Ronan. Yeah, and especially when you play an expert in the campaign, mm -hmm. like you're already starting off really terribly. Yeah, you start off with what like four schemes six out, six icons. Yeah, yeah, you've got like six icons. Yeah, just to like start. turn one. Mm hmm. So if you had like one of those cards that mm -hmm. for each of those icons deal as much damage, you could seriously yeah. punch them in the face. Well, Cable has plus one thwart and plus one attack for each acceleration token on the main scheme. So if you got him out to a then... maximum of plus three, plus three. <laughs> so turn one, Cable could attack for five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then there was that one that did pl up to plus four. Mm -hmm. so, so we're going to do the Deadpool. Oh, these, this is the obligation in the... We'll wait on those. The artwork is really fun on this. I really like the colors. Mm-hmm. I I really like um, the the obvious effort they put into this. Yeah. And then the team up, the frenemies card. Yeah, very fitting so. for Cable. <laughs> and then we've got the obligation, and then the nemesis. Oh. blurry but yeah the mutated soldiers are also interesting um because after they activate they heal up so you want to you want to kill them turn one mm -hmm. <laughs> the bomb the bomb <laughs> so these are these are his, his core set his identity set mm -hmm. i like that one's called montage some of these cards, like the titles on them, are awesome. <clears throat> now, now. <laughs> okay, and then we've got the rest of these, which is I like that his aspect is pink. Yes. <laughs> it's very Deadpool. Mm-hmm. I don't think I realized the barely a scratch has a knight on it. And it says <laughs> so it makes it's like a Yeah, it's Monty a Monty Python, Python like callback. reference. Like <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <clears throat>
Yep, there's your double slash triple resources right there. Mm-hmm. Get good. And <laughs> then healing factor. Yeah. So, yeah. I like how dog pool is featured on a lot of these. Yeah. And that makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Yep, he looks very crazed. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Very, very crazed. Yeah. That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> Get together, Try to get it to focus. No, but I like I like these a lot. This definitely looks like a very fun deck. Wanda Wilson. Yeah. I like it. Mm hmm. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So, thoughts? How do you think Deadpool's gonna stack up? I don't know. I'm I'm very worried about the amount of icons that show up on all the cards that you're gonna want to use. I don't know if I would feel confident playing it <laughs> because I'm very much like, let's keep everything under control, get rid of the icons, and then he's just like, let's put them all out there. <laughs> I, I feel like out of the two of us, this is definitely a me deck, where I'm like, you want chaos? I'll show you chaos. Like, we will we will just push that foot right through that floor, and we're going to go all the way yeah. to Flavor Town. <laughs> it's going to get spicy. It's going to get spicy in Flavor Town. Um... I worry, too. Mm -hmm. The reason I worry is that one turn that you have to flip because you just got defeated, you're going to have to really, really, really be careful. Yeah. Because if you flip over and you have a stack of encounter cards or there are too many boost cards out, he can, the villain can just scheme and win in a turn. Yeah. So you really, really, really have to watch that. Mm -hmm. Your boost icons and your acceleration icons are fine when you're in hero form. Because he can't kill you. Right. But the, scheming. the second you get killed and flip over, especially against like standard two, mm -hmm. where two of those encounter cards very well could say the villain schemes with plus one scheme. Yeah. If you get more of those in your 15 encounter cards that you just suddenly got dealt yeah it's just over yeah like you're gonna have to flip back into hero but you're gonna spend all of your time trying to thwart mm -hmm. and i don't know deadpool doesn't seem like a thwarting like a very no power, he's not a very powerful thwarting no. hero so you're definitely gonna have to like for a team up you're definitely gonna have to get one that is mm -hmm. yeah or else you're screwed yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of good stuff going on here, but I think that, I think this is what I'd like to call, like, I think this has a lot in common with Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people think that Star-Lord isn't that powerful or whatever. I'm not talking about power level. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about that play style of knowing when to push and when to stay. Yeah. Um, this is a very, it's a very gamble-focused play style. Um, a lot of risk and reward going into this. Just yeah. from the way the cards play out. Um, mm -hmm. With as much with as much experience as we have playing this game, I would say, and playing it poorly sometimes, <laughs> yes. I would say that Deadpool is definitely not a top-tier hero. Yeah. I would say that Deadpool is great. G looks good, mm -hmm. but I don't think this is Doctor Strange. No, I I don't I don't think this is I don't think this is unseating Captain America Stunlock if you aren't playing with 
expert or with standard two or some of those other very very top tier heroes like um scarlet witch doctor strange i don't think that deadpool is there right now yeah um i think that the upcoming hero magic that they teased is already there playing with the top card of your deck revealed. Can you imagine with some of these, if you could play with your top card of your deck revealed? Yeah. Magic might be a hero that would pull in the pool aspect and just kick trash. Yeah, I could see that. Like, the little bit that you've told me about that one uh -huh. would definitely be very interesting. So, I I think Deadpool's good. I, I think Deadpool... I think Deadpool would struggle in some situations, but I think Deadpool's going to be a lot of fun in some situations. Yeah. And I think, ultimately, that's what I want from the heroes moving forward, is I don't I don't need a hero that's going to, um, that's going to just win every game. Right. Without even thinking about it. Uh -huh. I don't need a hero that's going to be the uncontested champion. Yeah. I want heroes that are going to be good at some things and not good at others. Yeah. Um, the reason that our legacy campaign is such a struggle sometimes is, our heroes really struggle us against certain villains. Yeah, they do. And sometimes we're just we we're looking at a villain and we're like we're gonna get so yeah. destroyed, and then our heroes are like, nope, we're gonna roll. Yeah. So I like this balance just from looking at the cards. As to how it actually plays out, who knows? Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of fun things going on here. Mm -hmm. Um. And, like, I know that, like, a lot of the heroes, like, for sure, like, they all have, like, their um, variations. So, like, every game you play is not going to be the same, obviously. But mm -hmm. I feel like this one has the potential for so many variations. Yeah. Like. I think no two games are going to feel the same. Yeah. Never. I, th like, I think I think playing Deadpool is going to depend a whole lot more on what encounter cards and what boost cards you get than it is on what the cards are in your hand. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, Star Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited to to see. Um, I'm sure we'll play some games with Deadpool. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, definitely be real interesting. Mm hmm. But I'm honestly wondering if Deadpool's optimal deck is even with the pool aspect. That's, that's a good, that's a good point. Like maybe, I don't know what other what other aspect are you thinking? Just like a straight I, I aggression. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Like I I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if, like, yeah. I wonder if Deadpool straight aggression or Deadpool justice. Yeah. Just I'm gonna stay in hero form and thwart. And just remove a ton of threat every single turn. Yeah. And, oh, you killed me. I flip over, I recover. Mm -hmm. I get an acceleration token, but I'm already built to thwart everything. Yeah. So I'm just slowly going to ping you down with my 200 attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deadpool. Who knew? Who knew? He did, probably. Deadpool knew. <laughs> okay, so this, is, this has been... Uh, our Prime Cut game segment of The More You Know. <laughs> Rainbow. Peacock feathers. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, next up, we are going to review X23. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to split this so that you guys don't have to watch like six hours before you get to X23. <laughs> so we're going to be right back and then we're going to come right back. So... Um, stay tuned to the channel for some X23 pack reveals. Uh, videos are going up simultaneous, so I know it's right next to you. <laughs>